Hello YouTube, my name is Croops and today Volamore is coming out on Old School RuneScape and we are going to try and show you how to do this on release with kind of budget gear. We don't have best in slot, we got no mega rares because we're a stinky iron man and we don't get any mega rares. But this is the gear I'm taking on release. I'm using a bofa with Masori just because of the range. I do have a, a blowpipe as well so I'm going to try use the blowpipe when I can. But if there's any creatures at a distance that I can't reach, out comes the bofa just to try and drag them in uh, if that's possible. We do have a phoenix, phoenix necklace to tank anything. This is just the initial first inventory. We don't know what's going to be best in slot, but we are going for this type of inventory just because I think it's alright just for a starter inventory. We've got a stamina pot. I think we're going to need to utilise a stamina pot 100%. I feel like there's going to be a lot of moving because there's like guys that clump together like in a shield wall and they walk around and I feel like they're gonna push you out of like the towers get you moving so stamina pot I 100% require we're probably gonna switch this light bearer maybe even a ring of endurance depending on how much we need to run around but uh, I'm just bringing the light bearer just because obviously it's probably the best ring you got all the specs everything you need to do really so blowpipe spec to get your HP back and uh, yeah that's just the initial setup uh, I don't really have a good slash weapon, that's the problem I've got. I've got no scythe and I've only got a tent whip. So if anything's weak to slash, it, it's going to be absolutely detrimental. Also, I would recommend probably bringing an Infernal Cape instead of an Avers if you're a main account. Just because you don't really care about charges if you've got a lot of money. Infernal Cape will be better just for if you've got a, if you've got a scythe. You just use Infernal Cape with scythe, slash, slash, slash. Another thing I do want to mention is I do believe there is going to be like a quest before you can do Volamore so I don't know if you need to do a quest before I go into the Colosseum or if the quest is just specifically for Perilous Moons for the like the Barrows type mini game that's coming out as well but I am gonna uh, talk you through that quest when I'm doing it because there's probably gonna be no guide if I have to do a quest and what I'm trying to do on this video is just try to get to Colosseum so if there's no quest required to get into Colosseum there's going to be no quest, but in my next video, I'll show you Perilous Moons with the quest. So, uh, hopefully we don't have to do a quest, but you never know with this game, you never know. Mate, I've woke up a little bit too early. It's only quarter past nine, and I've got fucking like two hours until it comes out, and I'm recording YouTube vids. <laughs> What's coming on?
just run right here to Solar Flare. Fuck it off, bin it off, and fucking suck it off, you know what I mean? Fuck it off. Fucking little bastard, mate. You little bastard. What a bastard. Now the pronger. Fucking, we're gonna die again. But, the thing is, a little bit of progress. Can't complain at progress, can ya? Yeah, not bad, mate. 773. Not bad. Ignore that little bit of lag there, that's just Twitch VOD being dog shit. Yeah, 
Yeah, anyways, you get point, don't you? You know what I mean? This is attempt number four, if you didn't know. I'm not the best at editing, but attempt number four right here on Twitch.tv, this one. What's going on now with this Twitch pod? Come on. Oh, boys, that we're going to just have to leave it there. On to the next attempt. Fuck this. But then, Croup's got this run. Oh, dear. Hello, hit. Let me see what it said.
Fucking suck on that, lads. Fucking have some of that, mate. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Fucking bang on an hour. Fucking suck on it. Fucking... Ah, uh, why is it bringing this out? Fuck me.